Welcome to how to create a report that tracks the last cue of a remedy force incident. Once you've logged into Salesforce, uh, click the Reports tab, click New Report, and then we'll search for the Incident History Report Type. Select Incident History, click Create. We want to change the format of the report to a matrix report and then we want to add the incident number uh, to the matrix grouping. Next we'll add two field filters, one for last queue where it does not equal blank. What this does is filter out all the incidents that were never assigned to a queue and then one for the field event where the field event equals last queue. What this does is only return changes to the incident that are associated with a queue change. And we can also set for all incidents. And we want a date time field of open date and select a range where you're sure uh, that some incidents will be returned. Okay, let's run the report. And you'll see that the report groups by incident where the field event is last queue and it tracks the changes that the incident went through from one queue to another. Make sure to save the report and we can call it last queue tracking and put it in whichever folder suits you. I'll put it in my personal folder and click save. And this concludes how to create a report that tracks the last queue of Remedy Force incident.